Hey guys, Eddie in here, and uh, we're finally colonizing the back area here, which is just a mess, you know. I really, I terraformed most of this backyard. All of that, I mean, it doesn't look that much better. It's just much useful, much more useful, and just easier to get through. Um, and back here, you know, it's pretty full. But back here, there's just, we haven't done anything, uh, and there's just a bunch of junk right here. And we didn't get rabbits. I don't know why, I just never got around to doing that. Um, and a lot of other things like the bees and stuff. So we're going to uh, take take this cage out and I'm hoping to put a lychee tree here today. Uh, if not, we'll probably, I don't know. I mean, you could probably fit two small trees here, but if we find a lychee tree to a vent lychee tree that I had to remove over here and replace with the Logan, we will just put a giant lychee tree and just let it get super huge here. here if we cleared out that space we probably could actually fit like two trees um, or, or more a bunch of stuff like some tropic level stuff in here um, but we're not gonna do that we just want a giant like this big but you know they shape differently lychee tree um, if not jackfruit star fruit something else really cool and rare but um, yeah we're gonna have to go get that right now I checked the soil a little bit super porous and, and moist since it's been under there hasn't been hardening which is really good soil over here isn't too good we're gonna need to get a lot of mulch and stuff on there yeah we're, we want this thing to grow super fast and super well so I'm gonna do a lot more than just digging up like a hole and putting in some soil we're probably gonna dig out this area mix it up with some good soil some of the rest of the chicken manure in there maybe some quail a bunch of steer and uh, yeah we're gonna put a lot of good nutrients First dragon fruit off the new vine so if you've never seen a inside of a dragon fruit, I guess uh, you'll see now. So basically what we do is we cut them lengthwise. And this, I have never tried from this plant. I have no idea if it's going to be sweet or, or gross. Um, looks fine. This is what they usually look like on the inside. Uh, they can also be like yellow on the outside, yellow on the inside, I think, too. And dark purple on the inside, which is what I was hoping this variety was, but it's not. That's okay. Um, that means it's probably very similar to the other kind that we have. So what I like to do with these is put them in the refrigerator and uh, it's super cold and you eat it like ice cream. Okay. Wow, this is not bad. A little bit sour. Not as good as the other variety which we are getting, but this is pretty good. I actually do want to grow some of the seeds of these. So what it will taste like is the softness of a cucumber with the seeds inside kind of but just sweet like it's a fruit you gotta try these they're they're just super cool make sure you have them cold because they don't taste good warm well we just got the first mango it just fell off the tree so we're gonna leave it and uh see if it's actually ripe i don't know if it's ripe but it's starting to be purple and it's it's pretty big it is much larger than the yellow mexican one we tried but not as big as the the large kind that we also are growing from seeds so we'll have to see all right we're back at champa nursery we're gonna try and get some lychees and maybe a star fruit we can find one. Look at all these Djibouti Kabas. Uh, I think these are Canistel. I've never heard of that. Sapodillas and stuff all over. Look at this, they got jackfruits right here growing. Sapote right there or sapodilla. It's, oh man, look at all these. Okay, check this out. Cacao. This is what they make chocolate from and it's doing so well. There's just hundreds of them in here and jackfruits orange crushed jackfruits so maybe we will get one of these it'll if it's not too expensive it'll really get started quicker than uh, the seedling grows star fruits look at this 
this thing is loaded with star fruits in California. Crazy. So probably just gonna get the lychee uh, today. See if they have a star fruit. The jackfruits are uh, too expensive. All right, so I have no idea how I would ever get one of these. So we're gonna get one of the cacaos and uh, also the lychee. Some chicks around. These are great for the soil. Absolutely great for it. All right, we're getting this lychee because look at all this growth coming out all over. New leaves ready to be set. It's perfect. Wow, look at all these little chicks going in here. This is just great. No wonder they do so well. We got them home. Whoa, that's dark. Now uh, I'm gonna have to figure out where we're gonna put these guys because uh, this guy is gonna get huge and he already is giant. So uh, I think this is gonna be replacing the big jackfruit out there in the center of the field. You know, getting used to the sun and the heat. Um, well, not really too sunny over here. What we're gonna do is uh, we gotta start working the ground and building an environment, especially for this coffee. Chocolate, I'm gonna say that so many times. Um, Cause this thing is pretty, I think it's gonna be pretty picky. It's the rarest thing we're growing and probably the hardest to grow. So we're gonna be doing a lot of work today, a lot of planting and a lot of moving and just changing, changing up what's going on here because, um, well, as you can see, the garden is, it's done. It's done with the summer garden season. Once it starts heating up or uh, cooling down more, we're probably gonna start getting in some lettuce rows, but that's, that doesn't need much space. We could do that in boxes and stuff. Um, but I think next year, I don't want to have a garden. I just want to have trees and, and like a nursery back here um, and just, just fruit trees using the space completely. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the cocoa uh, right there. Almost said coffee. And the lychee, of course, right there. So we're going to have to work that soil and work this one as well. But they were both grown in shade, and I only have one shade. That I'll use for the lychee. Um, but guess what? Back here, I saw all this space. It's like we got all this this growing over i want to block it with something like i want to at least have something being growing here we got a bunch of sugarcane sprouting up it's super easy to propagate sugarcane and we still have three banana banana plants so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a small little banana and sugarcane plantation area back here um just a little farm it'll be much more accessible and uh this little structure here has to go out i mean it's not really that small so that we can put the stuff in here and uh, we need shade on the cocoa. So this is perfect. I could just drape a shade cloth over this and have the cocoa grow inside of it. And in the winter, I can wrap this up. And there you go, that's a greenhouse right there. So that's what we're gonna do. But that means we gotta first fix up this soil down here. And then we gotta remove all these tomatoes and stuff. So now that the house is built and uh, did get a little bit broken, it was, it's pretty shaky. I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon though. Um, we got to get the shade on the top and uh, then I'll dig the hole and we'll plant the tree. It's starting to cool down, starting to get in the evening and the sun going behind some kind of cloud. So that's good. All right, we got that uh, shield on there and that should block a lot of the like midday sun. Um, although I don't know, I don't know where the sun comes up. I forgot where it came up. So what we can do with this one is we can either bring it down on this side or we could bring it down on this side. And uh, what that'll do is just, you know, block this, the wall of the sun. So when it's coming up or when it's setting, we can block it depending on how we need. My phone is getting so heated up right now, though, so I'm not sure how much I'll be able to film. Uh, it just, it's got that warning sign on. So. Basically, next we're just going to uh, dig the hole, put a bunch of peat moss in there so that we can, well, we want it to be a little bit acidic, but we also need it to be really well draining. Break it all up, get a bunch of steer manure in there. I already got the chicken feces in there. That'll, that'll already help out a ton. Um, but the rest is just, we just need to fill it up with steer manure, potting soil, and uh, hopefully cover it with mulch if I have any left. And that'll just be great for it. <laughs> There 
was a pipe right in the middle, which, and it wasn't very deep down, so it really made working that soil a bit harder, and the pipe isn't even being used. It just goes to a sprinkler somewhere over there, you know. This was a whole, well, there wasn't really grass here, but I've changed this backyard quite a bit. Um, but yeah, so you see we have like kind of a mound around here so that the water can go inside there. Might water it a little bit tomorrow morning, but what's uh, said is it's a lot better if you soak it up like a lot. One time, just once in, uh, in a week, and then you come back to it so that the water has time to drain out, but it stays moist. Uh, I am going to spray a little bit of, uh, if I can find it, get a little bit of humidity on these leaves. I don't, I don't know if this is the best thing to do, but I just like it, and it, it seems to uh, keep the trees nice and moist, which is what this one needs to be, since it's like, leaves are not looking good at the top here. They're, I mean, when I got it, all of them kind of had really thin leaves, but like, like that, that's like wet paper right there. Luckily, the rest are seeming to do pretty well, but this was a $75 tree, so I don't want it to die now, but um, yeah, we're gonna take really good care of this thing, because this is the craziest, rarest thing that we're growing in this place. All right, let's get this lychee in the ground next. This shouldn't take as long. This one was not as hard, but um, man, am I sure tired. Uh, you probably noticed I got some swim shorts on. I'm gonna go hop in the pool and uh, go swimming because I am so hot and tired from all this. Uh, when it gets cooler, even cooler probably after dinner, I'm gonna come back here and we are gonna start building this into a banana and sugar cane plantation. Um, this guy's still alive, hopefully. <laughs> um, it, it looks still alive, but wilting at the ends, which I, just hate that but it was kind of like that when it started so i'm hoping this thing is alive we will know soon because this guy will tell you when he feels bad i just took a took a nice swim uh the uh lychee tree is looking good and so is the uh cacao cacao i keep trying to say coffee this is awesome really like we're just building up a, a rainforest back here because like well all that will be in a greenhouse in the winter and we'll have this in the greenhouse but for now, it literally feels like I'm out in the rainforest. We got total shade and all this tropical stuff around. Uh, so the idea for this is we want it to get really big and grow out so that we can just get, you know, tons of lychees. Um, and this as well, this one will we'll try and keep like a something of a path here. Uh, but then I realized like, well, not all these tomatoes are dead, but they'll probably be gone. And we can have a giant tree right here. But instead of doing that, I want to actually keep it open and just build a wall, like a real forest. One where we just don't care. It, we want it to just grow super fast and we don't care at all what it looks like, what, what's growing in it. It doesn't need to be anything good and I'm out of money. So we're going to just put a bunch of sugar cane and bananas along the line right here. And uh, I don't think we'll do rows. I think, well, I think we'll probably just try and like plant it well so so it'll come all the way out and this thing will get kind of big um and all around here get kind of big and it'll start pushing itself out and the bananas will have all these shoots and they'll start coming out so first thing we need to do is uh clear this up and till the land but also we need to get our uh sugar canes from back there so we're gonna till up the land first so bananas as you know, grow well in any kind of soil. So all we're really gonna do is put some steer manure, a little bit of potting soil uh, around there. It's pretty much my last. I don't have anything else. Uh, and we're gonna need to get some so that we can start repotting, you know, the longans and jackfruits and all the stuff that are coming up. But mainly, um, we're, the soil is pretty good. It's not too bad. It is mostly clay though, but there's all this organic material on the sides. The roots will come out and it will enjoy it. All right, this is all 
the land we'll really be working with today. Not too much, doesn't need to be much. Um, and I think we're just going to plant the bananas, and have the sugar cane uh, in between and in front of the bananas, or hmm, maybe behind actually, they grow straight up. We'll just mix it all around and uh, get out what we have and see how it goes. Um, maybe even someday we'll get a tree right here. Cause this, this coffee um, cacao tree, it's not gonna get that big. It's, it's really, I mean, obviously we aren't letting it get that tall either. I'll probably like let it get all the way up there. We'll take this thing off, but it's really not gonna get too big and it'll probably go that way and, and the other ways and stuff. So we could probably fit like maybe a chair moya in here or something, but we won't really want it to be too expensive because this is just gonna be a forest. And we won't, we'll barely even be able to get back here. <laughs> so that's what we got it doesn't look great but trust me you don't need too good a soil for bananas really really you don't um and also it's all mixed down there underneath we're gonna cover it up with all this organic material and rebuild the soil because this soil is all it's all used up well it's never even been used for anything it's just it's just clay so hopefully with all this organic material on top that'll bring it back to life so i'm um, gonna bring in the bananas see where we're gonna put them then we'll start getting some sugar canes. You guys know I barely ever venture all the way to this part of the jungle and uh, hopefully this won't be what it looks like over here because, um, well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that, you know, you're able to walk under the things. The reason it's like this is because we got dragon fruit like going over your head right here and uh, yeah, it's it's really crazy. But, um, so we have sugar canes here and look at that. Oh yes, perfect. So. Basically what you want to do is uh, you cut them up and right here they start growing. They start growing out of there, um, which ooh, we got a nice little flower back there, <laughs> which I will let that happen. But um, and we'll do some of them this way probably. But we also got these and if you cut them out like this, it will also grow roots out of the side, I, I, I think. Uh, so we're going to try that because these are already growing here. There's plenty around. We can let that let it happen like that. Uh, I also want to check back here. I have never been there in many years, so we're going to take a look back there and see what's going on. We didn't actually go all the way, but yeah, look at that. Apparently, um, there are some young ones growing out, and I think this is a different kind, a more red kind. It doesn't look red at all, but uh, that's what my dad said. Check this out. Check out that canopy. Look at that canopy right there. That's, that's what we're hoping for for the whole entire place. And, that's probably what's going to happen back here and, and over there, and there's the peach tree. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to just take cuttings off of those, because we don't have much room anyways. And uh, we'll let the nodules climb out, because uh, my dad cut down a bunch of this sugar cane earlier, so it should be good. Check out the dragon fruit, making a bunch more flowers, new growth, and uh, it's draping down into here. And they grow a lot more fruits when they're hanging down. So this is perfect, literally perfect, because they're just hanging down into here. We'll have the jackfruit here to shade them, and uh, that'll be good. Just look at all the stuff we planted already. All right, so uh, got some, these normal ones, basically, see right here. You just throw them underground and uh, at these points, and you, you want to cut them up so that they can grow multiple plants. And uh, yeah, apparently that's how it grows. I've never done it, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's how we got ours in the first place. We're also gonna throw some of these under. I think the roots will come out of here. I don't I don't know if this will work, but I've seen it work before, so I have high hopes. Oh shoot, this thing's got a bunch of uh, pests on it, it looks like. So we'll have to wash those down. Um, but yeah, we're gonna throw the bananas in real quick and uh, then we'll put these in. finally done planting this is crazy um so back here yeah it's basically gonna turn into a forest just a crazy forest the sugar cane i hope they survive because they'll be so much more accessible here we can actually harvest them and make sugar which i know we didn't do that and the coffee still hasn't made the, the berries even though it's flowering so i don't know what's up with that um <laughs> to make it even harder for me to get to the gate we got the papaya right here and uh 
that sugar cane and the bananas. I don't even know how we're gonna squeeze through there, but I know we can, it's just gonna be super tight. Um, and the lychee is doing pretty well, doing pretty well underneath this shade. It's it's so much bigger than that little tiny login when we got it. Um, they were like same price too. Like this is so much bigger, but still not very much for the price. Luckily this, the crown is just, it's gonna explode with leaves. And I can finally tell the difference because uh, longans and lychees, like they're very similar crown tree um but the lychees are just a bit more like like long and mango-y than the the round lychee leaves long and leaves my bad um and the best of all this giant <laughs> cacao tree i don't even know how it was so cheap like i feel like something like this would be 200 dollars. it's as tall as me and it's it's a cacao tree doing super healthy um so yeah hopefully it'll establish itself they, they grow they, this is probably the one where they most said it can't grow here, but but someone figured out how to do it. So, yeah, I don't know about this guy, but we're gonna we're gonna work him. We're gonna we are going to baby this plant like crazy. And uh, just check this out. This look at this passion fruit. It flowered today. Like like the flower finally came out, and that's crazy because I planted this thing two weeks ago and we're already still we're already getting ready to get fruit from it this thing is on its way up to the roof and it's just it's just going crazy it's insane I don't I don't understand how they grow so fast you could you could watch it grow like just like bananas and papayas you could just watch it grow and the pomegranate is also coming back but I did an update on the whole thing last time so um, all I'll show you is the seedlings look at this so the mangoes not only sprouted in the last episode uh, Look at this. They got giant leaves, huge, bigger than the, uh, bigger than our, uh, not, not Salmao, no, Logan's right there. Uh, the other one, it has two, because it came out on one side and not on the other, and I don't know what to do with that, so, yeah, I might have to chop that little one or something, and you can eat the leaves when they're, when they're like that. Um, one more thing, look at this, it's already starting to make out some new leaves, like, this was like a day after we cut off the mango, so... That's good. Probably shouldn't have let them have mangoes, but I just wanted to, to see how it was going. And uh, papaya is, is crazy. This is insane. So, yeah. Oh, oh. One more thing. The other papaya. Dang, this thing grows, like, so quickly. Papayas are so fast. I don't understand how they do it. I think I might put one uh, over here. Back in here with all the other stuff. I think I might put another one just because they're so easy to grow. They're... They're similar to these things. They grow easy. You can fit them in tight spaces. So we might do that just to diversify it up a little bit. Anyways, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you made it this far. This has been crazy. Um, and back here, we are going to, this is going to be our, our like jungle basically. In the front there, that is really for studying and, and it's it's centropic. But over here, we're, we're just going to let them get giant. Only a few plants, but extreme. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one.